Hello and welcome to the launch of the all-new Profoto Pro 8 Power Pack. For years, Pro 7 has been the worldwide standard for electronic flash. Its consistency, recycling time, flash duration, and ruggedness has made it the standard for photographers and rental houses all around the world. Pro 8 builds on that technology with significant advancements in everything from user interface to pack performance. The Profoto philosophy remains the same. Keep it simple and easy to use while making sure it's ruggedly built to endure professional rental. Pro 8 enters a new generation of performance and consistency. The purpose of this video is to explain to you the features and equip you with the knowledge needed to talk to your customers and answer their questions, not to sell you. The first logical question is how the new pack compares with the Pro 7. Pro 7 is well known for having the fastest recycling time, shortest flash duration, and the ultimate in consistency. Recycling time on Pro 7 at full power is 1.8 seconds. Pro 8 is half that, 9 tenths of a second. It's amazing when you think about it. Pro 8 can keep up with the fastest digital cameras available today at 20 frames per second. All this in a package that's the same size and with the same power requirements as Pro 7. Second, flash duration has been reduced to 12 thousandth of a second at low power. The third point is consistency. Today's digital cameras allow photographers to take more exposures than ever, so consistency is even more important. Now let's take a walk through the pack. The first thing you notice is the new completely digital interface. Similar to the D4, each of the two lamp head sockets are independently controlled in full or one-tenth of an f-stop increments. As you can see from the display, the power is set to 10.0, which is full power. By pressing the knob and turning it, it goes to 9.0, and we're exactly one stop less power. So this 2400 watt second pack is now set to 1200 watt seconds. The display can be changed to read watt seconds rather than f-stops by pressing the watt second button. By turning the knob without pressing it, you can increase power in one-tenth of an f-stop increments. By pressing and turning the knob, we change power in full f-stop increments. When a second head is plugged into the generator, the power pack automatically selects the lowest power on the pack, 1.0 as the default setting for the second head. Notice that when this head is activated, there is no change in power to the first head. They operate independently from one another. Changes made to the A head have no effect on the B head, and vice versa. Although the f-stop is set in one-tenth of an f-stop increments, the microprocessor control of the generator ensures accuracy to plus or minus one-fiftieth of an f-stop in actual light output. That's the ultimate inconsistency. Thanks to Profoto's new patented pipe technology, the color consistency from flash to flash is also significantly better than anything else on the market. While we don't need to get into the scientific technology here, the color deviation is not more than 40 degrees Kelvin from flash to flash, regardless of the power setting or the output differences between the two heads. The Profoto Pro 8 also has a 10 stop range, so the scales range from 10.0 to 1.0. One thing to notice is that channel A has a high power setting of 10, while channel B has a high power setting of 9, or 1 half power. Both go down to 1.0 or 5 watt seconds. So if you want to get maximum power through a single head, make sure you use channel A. Now let's take a walk around the pack and see some of the features. Starting from the upper left hand corner, we notice the white light slave standard on all pro photo generators. The dual sync socket for tripping the generator using a sync cord. Here's the on or off button to turn the pack on and off. The USB socket can control up to 127 generators hardwired to a computer using Profoto Studio software. The ready indicator gives you four choices for the pack to let you know when it's recycled. In the off position, the pack makes no beeping noise and the modding light stays on while the pack is charging. In the dim position, the modding light visually dims when the pack is recharging to give an indication that the pack is ready. The beep setting plays an audible tone when recycled and the beep dim setting does both, dim the modding lights while charging and beeps when the pack is fully charged. The speed control indicates your recycling time. Max offers the fastest recycling time 0.9 seconds at full power and the shortest recycling time of 0.05 seconds. When using max to get the peak performance, you also draw the most power from the outlet. If power is not a problem, leave the packs on max to have the fastest recycling time. If shooting on location, switching to a slower recycling time will reduce the amp draw for use on breakers less than 30 amps. In the middle of the pack, the watt second button allows users to change the display from f-stops to watt seconds. The modeling light button turns modeling lights on or off for the entire pack. Use the individual head controls to turn off an individual head. And of course, the white button is for test firing. <coughs> the modeling light control has four settings, starting a little out of sequence. 
Max gives you the brightest modeling light possible regardless of the power setting. Proportional adjusts the power from head to head, ensuring the modeling lights are showing a true lighting ratio of the flash tubes when the heads are set to different power levels. One half proportional is used when mixing a 1200 watt second and a 2400 watt second pack on the same set. To use this, simply set the 1200 watt second pack to one half proportional and the 2400 watt second pack to normal proportional. The one half proportional setting will simply reduce the overall modeling light of the power pack to one half normal, since the 1200 watt second pack is half the output of the 2400 watt second pack. Then regardless of what power settings are used, the photographer can still see a true lighting ratio. Finally, there's proportional max. With many of today's digital cameras, photographers are looking to dial the power down very low to optimize shallow depth of field. The challenge comes when the power is dialed so low to suit the wide open aperture, proportional modeling lights become extremely dim. Proportional Max looks at both channels on the pack and whichever head is set to a higher power, that modeling light is automatically set to full. The second head is set proportionally to the first. So in other words, if one head is set to a power setting of three and one head set to a power setting of two, the first head's modeling light would be at full power and the second would be set to half power since the intensity of the flash is half. And finally, the sync control. In addition to the off position, the slave settings offers traditional white light slave found in all Prophoto generators. What's new to the Pro 8 is the incorporation of an all new built in radio transceiver. In doing more than simply firing the packs remotely, Prophoto Air also lets you take control of the power and modeling light settings wirelessly from the camera or computer. Prophoto Air is an 8 channel system offering 6 groups for a total of up to 48 configurations. To select a channel, turn the sync dial knob to the set position. By rotating a head control knob, you can set the channels 1 through 8. By pressing and turning the knob, you can also select groups A through F. Of course, to make the system work, you also need one of the three transmitter options. Prophoto Air Sync is a simple, lightweight radio transceiver designed to simply fire the generator at a distance of up to 1,000 feet. Prophoto Air Remote fires the packs remotely, exactly the same as Prophoto Air Sync. However, it also incorporates fully remote controlled capability for the power pack, controlling power and modeling light wirelessly from the camera, exactly the same as if you were touching the generator. The third option is Prophoto Air Studio, which through a USB transmitter attached to your computer offers full control via Wi-Fi in your studio. Well, that's a quick look through the generator itself, but we still have a few more things to cover. By now you're asking yourself, is the Pro 7 made obsolete with Pro 8? Not at all. Pro 7 and Pro 8 can work seamlessly side by side in the same studio on the same set. Many photographers will choose to use multiple Pro 7 packs on the background at lower power settings and take advantage of the faster recycling time matching Pro 8 as a main light. Since both packs use the same heads, head extension cables, accessories, and light shaping tools, Pro 8 is really designed to build on your investment.